Hello and welcome back to Perfect Spiral Capital. It's Monday, that means it's Mindset Monday, and I've got something else that I think can help you to improve your life. Let's get into it. Today, I want to talk about the reticular activating system in your brain. It's a little clump of cells at the base of your brain stem, and what it does is it helps to direct your attention on things. Now, your reticular activating system, or RAS, as I'll use for the rest of the video here, is not for you or against you. It reinforces whatever your brain already has been conditioned to expect. Your RAS really maintains the status quo. And so if you want to make big changes in your life, you need to disrupt what your brain perceives to be the status quo. You can think about something that has not happened. You can imagine a situation. Now, I don't think in pictures. You may think in pictures vividly. It doesn't matter. But you can imagine something that hasn't happened. You can imagine, let's say in your relationships, spending quality time on a regular basis with someone that you care about. You can imagine sitting on a particular deck at a particular restaurant, getting a particular meal. Imagine what that food tastes like. Imagine the most delicious dessert that you've ever had from that restaurant. You know what it tastes like. Conjure that in your mind so that your mouth waters. By doing that, you are creating an emotional imprint of that future state that you want to achieve. Your brain, your RAS, is then going to say, wow, I have this very distinct clear image, this emotional image of a state. And it's actually such a strong emotional impulse that it's, it's stronger than your impression of the present. And so what your, your brain is going to do is it's going to say, okay, I've got two things here and I feel more strongly about this one. That's the future state that you've meticulously crafted in your mind. I feel more strongly about this one. And so I'm going to help find ways to make that state reality. I'm going to make these pictures match, in other words. And so by creating that mental image, you've given your brain all it needs. Your brain will, whenever you're thinking about it or not, be working to achieve the future state. You'll pick up on hints and conversations that might be ways to do the thing that you want to do. You'll key in on particular details you never would have noticed. And now, the more you do this, the better. The more you create that imprint and refresh that imprint of the future state, the better. Right? And this is exactly what you do. Normally, if you have a birthday party that you want to throw for someone, you think about the details. You put it all together in your mind. You play it out in your mind. We need to make sure that this is just like this so that this can occur, etc., etc. That's what you do. It's just a method of doing this for other tasks. So, it's one thing to say, I would like to make a million dollars next year. It's a completely different thing to say, this is the business I built to generate a million dollars, and this is where I'm going to sit and how I'm going to celebrate and who I'm going to be surrounded with, how I'm going to feel because my business earned a million dollars. So you can see the difference. In my book, Between the Lies, 
I pull from Atomic Habits by James Clear. It's an extremely popular, well-read book. You should read it if you haven't. But he uses the example of someone who is trying to quit smoking. There's two ways this can play out. If they're offered a cigarette, they can say, oh, no, thanks. I'm trying to quit. Well, that person hasn't won the battle, right? Their friends can kind of nudge and, and, and prod and get them to give in and take the cigarette because they want it. They're experiencing withdrawals. They're trying to quit. It's difficult. But what if they were to say, oh, no, thanks. I'm not a smoker. You see the subtle shift. They've already won. I'm not a smoker says that's not who I am. That's not my identity. I have created a different identity. I've already enforced that in my mind. And I'm more or less just waiting for reality to catch up. This is the most powerful thing that you can master if you want to strive to achieve big goals. Specifically, entrepreneurial goals, as that's the focus of Mindset Mondays, but this applies to relationships and every other aspect of your life, and it works. It works so much and so quickly, if you lean into this, that it's, it's hard for me to believe, and I'm living it. If you have questions on how you can implement this in your life, I'm always happy to talk about it, but you should also look into the Pacific Institute. I am not affiliated in any way with them. They are not aware of this video, but the Pacific Institute will teach you step by step through their incredible work and the work of Lou Tice, their founder, how to tap into your brain's natural tendencies and make the most of them, get them working for you. Because if you're not aware of this and you're not using it for your own benefit, chances are it's working against you. You heard me mention my book, Between the Lies. If you're interested, check it out. It's available in print, digital, and audiobook narrated by me. You'll find a link below and in the pinned comment. And if you like this video, there's a really good chance you're going to like the next one. There should be one appearing on screen now. Check it out. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next one.